Hi guys, this project is inspired by a video I watched by Thomas Kim. He was using the pump from a shampoo dispenser to make what he called an air check valve. I think that's what he called it, or something like that. Um, I'm going to use this hand wash dispenser. It does the same thing. There's a pump in there that you pump up and down and it takes the contents of there and squirts them out of there. I'm going to see if I can adapt it to make a valve for making one of my air jet cars. So I'll have to take it apart and see what we can do with it. I'll put a link to Thomas Kim's video in my video description so you can see what inspired me. What we've got is a little, I don't know if you can even see that, clear ball. That's the ball that makes the seal in the bottom of there. And the spring obviously holds it in place. So what I want is the ball at the end there so that I can push air into there. That should push the ball up and the air can go into that chamber. And when I stop pushing the air into there, the spring will seal it. That's what I'm planning anyway. So I don't need all the rest of this, but I do need that spring to be held in place. So I need parts of it, but not all of it. I'll have to work out which bits I need and which bits I don't. I want to be able to mount this into the top of a... Well, I was thinking into the top of a pop bottle. But I suppose I could actually try pressurising that and see what happens. Basically I need it the opposite way round to the way that it's actually working at the moment. Because I want to push pressure in from the outside rather than suck it from the inside. That's the seal for the top of the bottle. So if I'm going to use it upside down, I really need that seal there. Probably need to take that bit out. Okay. Right. Clearly, we don't need this bit either. Better. Just got the pressure in there. If we release it, so looks like the theory works. How far do we dare blow that up? 
So what I want to do is put a pinhole in it to let the air out again. Right, very quickly I'm going to make myself a chassis with these wheels from one of my other cars in drinking straws. Right, I don't expect to go very far with this, so we're only starting halfway up my kitchen anyway. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to work that well. Well, I was so surprised how well that went with the first test run. I've moved the camera back to the beginning of my kitchen. Let's pump it up a bit more and see if we can get a good distance. Probably burst the bottle this time. <laughs> a full five metres. Well, I'm impressed with that. I didn't expect that at all. Right, quick summary. Uh, this project was inspired by a video I watched by Thomas Kim, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. What he's done is he's taken a, well, he used a shampoo dispenser. I've used a hand wash dispenser. We've modified the pump mechanism so it now acts as a air valve. Um, so now I pump air into there, fill the bottle with compressed air, pull the pin out, the air shoots out there and that pushes the car forwards. The car that I've made is a very quick, very simple chassis, two flower canes, two drinking straws, four CDs, all on barbecue skewer axles. So it's very lightweight and we just managed to make that do the length of my kitchen, so that's about five metres. I didn't expect it to do that well, I was intending to change that out for a two litre pop bottle. So, um, I'm impressed. That's worked. I'm not quite sure about the safety of it, putting compressed air into a plastic bottle like that. I'd recommend you wear eye shields just in case it bursts. But it worked. No doubting that. Thanks, Thomas Kim.